Hey everybody, I'm Adrian Bustamante from adrianbustamante.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Belgian waffle mix. It's really easy, usually most people have this stuff in their pantry, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with two cups of flour. We're gonna place it in our mixing bowl. Boom, like that. Place it off to the side. And then we're gonna take two cups of milk. Boom, there. We're gonna take two teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons of vanilla. All right. And we got two tablespoons of sugar, confectioner's sugar. You want to use confectioner's sugar, it's just a good baking sugar, it's nice and thin, versus granulated sugar, which is sometimes a little bit too too thick and grainy for uh, baked dishes. So you wanna try and go that route, but you can use regular sugar if you don't have confectioner sugar at home, it won't ruin anything. And then we're gonna go one tablespoon of vegetable oil. You can also use canola oil if you wanna go a little bit differently than going the old school vegetable oil, but you know, mom and grandma used to make it that way, so I'm gonna make it that way. Now, next we're gonna separate some eggs. Now the reason we're gonna separate them is I'm gonna put the egg yolks in here, but I'm also gonna whip these egg whites into a soft peak, which I'll show you what that means in a minute. But first things first, pull these eggs out, and we're gonna do a little separating. Now each person kinda of has their own way of doing egg separation. I'm gonna show you mine. So we're gonna crack the egg, and I'm gonna make sure the whites get in this bowl. I'm just gonna go back and forth with the yolk. And once I go back and forth, I try and dump any excess egg white out into the bowl. You may have to go back and forth a few times, but when that yolk cracks, I'm just gonna pour it in my bowl there. There's one egg. Same thing for the other. Get those egg whites in that bowl underneath. Depending on how fresh your eggs are, it may take less time. There's two. And here comes the third. All right, whoa, almost got a mess there. So we're gonna sit this off to the side just for a quick minute. I'll whisk it all together in a second, but I'm gonna show you something. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of salt, just a pinch, give it a little bit of flavor here. And I'm gonna take my beer. Now you can do it by hand, you can do whatever you want, but I like a little less work, so I'm gonna do it this way. Now, what a soft peak is, is you're gonna see it kind of fluff up, almost like a whipped cream type of texture. Um, and a soft peak, once we get there, I'll show you where it's at. You don't want it to be too, too hard where uh, it looks like whipped cream. You want it just fluffy enough. But when I get there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now that is about a soft peak. 
Now you'll see it's kind of got a little bit of give to it. Um, it'll still kind of come out of the dish if you kind of twirl, go back and forth. A hard peek would be is actually can take the dish and put it over my head and it still won't come out. Now the reason we're actually doing this with the egg whites is we're going to fold it in to this mixture here. Now what that's going to allow the Belgian waffle mix to do is actually rise and it creates kind of an air bubble process in there. So when you want your, you want your Belgian waffles to be nice and fluffy, that's what you're going to get. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to do a little bit of mixing here now. Get all these things we mixed in earlier together and then I'm going to show you how to fold. Now, if it looks a little bit too thin like this one does, I would highly recommend adding a little bit of flour and which is what I'm going to do. Excuse the mess that I'm gonna make. And you can kind of eyeball it a little bit to give it a little bit more thickness and be prepared, you will get a little messy, but Hey, a little mess in the kitchen never hurt anybody. There you go. Mix that up a little bit. And again, you can gauge it to the best of your ability. If you need to add more, do not be afraid to add more. It's okay to add things during this process. Okay. Now comes the folding. Now folding is a little bit of a process. It does take a little bit of time because the key point of it is to basically do it nice and slow. So you wanna slowly incorporate these egg whites into this dish. Now you're gonna do it by just taking a little bit, adding it to the top, and you'll see it float. Now folding is just this. You're gonna do a fold. You're gonna come in, I'm gonna push it over. You're gonna come from the bottom and come over the top. Turn your bowl, come into the bottom, there you go. And continue the folding process until you see it in completely incorporated. Now you're going to probably say to yourself as you keep going through here that this is taking a long time. Now it's okay. You want it to take time because you want to increase the amount of air that you're kind of creating in this mixture here to get that fluffy Belgian waffle mix that you'd be looking for. So there you go. Just keep folding. You'll slowly start to see those kind of almost lumps now, slowly incorporate into that Belgian waffle mix. Remember on each fold, give it a turn. Come down into the middle of the bowl, fold over. Down into the middle of the bowl, fold over. There you go. Just keep that process going. Once you see them start incorporating a little bit more, you can feel free to add some more egg. There you go. Same thing. Boom, keep turning. There you go. This process may take a few minutes. You'll be all right, promise. You can already smell those flavors coming together. It smells like breakfast. You'll see it to start thicken up a little bit as well, even more than previous. It'll almost become like a, uh, it won't be as thick as like pancake mix, but you'll start to see it kind of create a little bit, this egg white to create a little bit of air bubbles in there and whatnot. It'll be good. There you go. Now I'm gonna take the last bit of egg white in there. Now another note while I'm folding about your egg whites is you wanna make sure that when you do kind of beat them to that soft peak, you use them pretty quickly. Because what can happen is if you don't use them tart quickly, the well, egg whites will start breaking down into a liquid form again. And all you'll have to do is re-beat them, but uh, you, know, you just wanna make sure you're not dumping any, uh, any egg whites in there that aren't in this nice fluffy form. That won't really help your mix at all. There we go, it's slowly but surely coming along. 
We're almost done. I promise. And you're gonna get a little messy, at least I do. I've always been a messy person in the kitchen, but you know what? Cleanup is half of the uh, is half of the process in my eyes. There you go. Almost gone. I see them kind of going away. You'll start seeing again those egg white lumps start to incorporate better into the batter here. There you go. I only got a few more in there to go. Okay, just keep folding until you see all the lumps gone and you'll be good. That's it guys. This is a Belgian waffle mix. So you're good. Now what I would do is I would pour this obviously into my Belgian waffle maker, heat it up and serve it to everyone. So that's it. I'm Adrian Bustamante and this has been a homemade Belgian waffle mix. Thank mm -hmm. you.